Hello everyone, welcome to Astrological Weekly Update for the December 11 to 17th. Most important things for this week would be the Mercury retrograde. Yes, Mercury will retrograde on the 13th of December. But at this moment, Mercury is a stationary. The stationary of a Mercury, uh, a stationary of a Mercury, uh, the, the time would be from 11th December to the 15th December. During this time, Mercury will stay at an A degree of uh, Capricorns and not going to move. It is a very interesting degree. First, for so many countries which took the first uh, of January as the you know country starting date, and this would be the sun's position at eight degree or seven degree Capricorn. So the Mercury stationary at this place have something to do with the bigger picture of a country of a society. And then nevertheless, Mercury is aligned with a fixed star called Phasis. This is symbolized the eye of the Sagittarius, the eye of the archer. So what does eye of archers does? Well, um, the eyes of the archer is about to focus on the target, focus on the prey, or focus on the you know victim is going to shoot. So this um, alignment has a meaning about Mercury about our communication, about the things we say, about the analyze, our focus on some target, important target, and somehow bring a little bit more critical a feeling or maybe like a very emergency uh, feeling about it. I, I'm not saying that bad things will happen. I'll just say we are focused on important information and treat it like it as an important target. Nevertheless, Mercury will up the bomb and the Mars will up the bomb. We will talk about it later. So, generally speaking, this week, the communication, the way we think, um, how we how we communicate with, with each other are very, very important. Look at the big picture. Well, some people may ask about the, how about the shadow period? To be honest, when I start to study astrology, I never heard about so-called shadow period. But it is a very interesting concept. First, I want to remind you, so-called Mercury retrograde shadow period doesn't mean everything went wrong, doesn't mean everything is bad, doesn't mean, you know, things is catastrophic. No, don't think like this. So-called shadow period, because we know the retrograde is Mercury move forward on the zodiac and then it stopped. And then it turned direction backward. So Mercury is moved from the 22 degree Sagittarius to a degree Capricorn. And then on the 13th, Mercury will change direction, move backward from a degree Capricorn back to 22 degree Sag. And uh, this area of zodiac, so uh, would be the things that things repeat again when the Mercury is back to the uh, direct motion, and then Mercury will move forward again, Mercury will move forward again from 22 degrees Sagittarius to the 8 degree Capricorn. So this part of the zodiac, Mercury will move forward, backward, and forward three times. That's why we call it shadow period. Nothing to do with good or bad. But remind you, those things, happen from the 26th of November to the 8th of December during this time. And also the things uh, happening during the Mercury retrograde period are more likely to repeat itself. We maybe need to, you know, take the things back and re-exam. We maybe um, redo it. We maybe uh, need to explain more during this time. This is what so-called Mercury shadow period nothing to do with bad things happen or something that that is too simple and the two you know fatalism well so we explain what is mercury shadow period well let's just simply say these type of things it, it happened even before mercury retrograde yes these things are more likely make us to do it again redo and undo or redo during the Mercury retrograde and the after Mercury retrograde, and that we still have a bit of time to, you know, to re-sort out everything. The 
Another thing I mentioned about uh, Mars out of a bump. For this moment, Mars is out of in the so-called declination is out of the Sun's range. So, symbolic speaking, this Mars is go wild, a little bit crazy. It could be good, it could be bad. In the in the bad side, uncontrolled Mars. So it's more like uncontrolled anger or uncontrolled action. In the big picture, for the society or for the geopolitical, this could be riot. This would be huge gunshot, or this could be make people super crazy busy, or maybe the war. We don't know. It's out of control. For the positive way, this is a Mars. Our energy, our action, are more likely very active. So we have a little bit more hyper during this time. We have a Mercury retrograde and Mar、uh, Mercury out of bound, Mars out of bound. So things are more little bit more fun and.、Uh, During the Christmas shopping season, maybe we will get a little bit wild, get a little bit crazy. Also, on the thirteenth, while Mercury is stationary and turned back, we have a new moon on the Sagittarius twenty degree. Well, and this new moon will square Neptune and the Sesquic quadrate with Jupiter. Well, both Neptune and Jupiter give us dream, vision, future. So maybe this is a month invite us to re-exam our dream, to think about what is our vision for the next year, and also not be afraid. Although we have a lot of challenge at this moment, but I think the invite from the Neptune and the Jupiter is suggest us no matter how hard it could be, or no matter the. The environment and the reality are maybe have difficult, but this is not going to stop our dream. If you want to chasing your dream, you have to be brave and you have to be courageous to make it happen. This is the weekly astrology update for the 11th to 17th December. I'm Rod Chang. See you next week.